subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PWIP. Export knowledge be, trade be. Hi friends, today I'm here to talk about quality control in rice exports. What do we need to understand about quality in rice? And this quality which has to be taken care is right from the place of production until the cargo reaches to your destination port, right? Because might be you pack the rice in the best of its quality, in the best of its form at the rice mill. But in transit, there was an issue. There was water seepage, either the cargo was exposed to, you know, moistures about 20%. The, the cargo formed weevils, there was some intervention of foreign materials, the cargo was not fumigated properly in the containers. A lot of reasons like this could still turn your amazing quality of rice into a bad quality when it reaches, right? Because the customer finally will say that, hey, I paid for the rice before, you know, surrendering the BL, but my friend, you got your money or I didn't get a good quality of rice. And this is a very bad position to be in, right? So, in my uh, experience of being an exporter for the last eight years, my friends, I have faced a lot of uh, issues uh, when it comes to rice quality. Sometimes you are not able to trust the miller or the vendor. Sometimes you are able to trust the miller and vendor and think that, okay, I am not going to the rice mill because I know this person is not going to cheat me, but still you get cheated. Or there might be that in during the transit, the steps that has to be taken care of is not followed. You are thinking the fumigation is happening at the CFS, but in reality, you are only getting the bill for fumigation, but not fumigation happening in reality. A lot of issues can really turn your exports upside down and you could land yourself at huge risk, my friends. Though rice being not like a perishable like fruits and vegetables so it's not going to spoil very very fast but then you also have these kind of checks and balances that you have to keep in place now let me quickly come to the first point the place of production so when the when at the at the mill when the milling of rice is happening you might have ordered place the order for a particular variety of rice now this variety of rice, for example, if you are not at the mill or if you don't have a trusted company which is doing this shipment or you don't, are not able to, you didn't deploy a quality inspector or a quality agency or a company to inspect the cargo, might be the variety itself is gone for a toss. For example, you, are, you have ordered 1121 Basmati but you are, the miller is packing 1509 Basmati for you which is a cheaper variety compared to 1121. You have ordered for RNR rice but the miller is packing Sona Masuri for you. You have ordered Kolam rice but your miller is packing RNR or HMT rice for you. A lot of things like this can go wrong. Or for example, you have ordered uh, Sona Masuri rice itself. The miller is also packing Sona Masuri rice but you thought that it was original Sona Masuri rice but the miller is giving you Nellor Sona variety. Or the, you ordered for uh, say 5% broken and a miller is uh, you know milling and packing say 25% broken uh, uh, you know rice for you or a 15% broken rice for you. So these are few things where you can run into you know serious issues my friends. So first thing either you go to your mill of uh, you know the production place of production or you deploy your own team member or you work with a trusted company. Now once say for example you have taken care of the place of production where the rice is being milled, packed and dispatched, in transit there could be uh, you know uh, water seepage, it might be rainy days uh, during the time of shipment because shipments don't stop, rice orders don't stop, rice shipments don't stop. So you have to make sure that you have taken care of a few steps like this right. Now for example during transit from the mill to the CFS there is a heavy rainfall and the truck was not properly secured with tarpaulins right so and the, there has been very serious uh, water seepage into the cargo what if your bag was a non woven bag what if your bag was a jute bag without any liners inside so it is going to directly you know uh, the rain water is going to directly come in contact with the uh, you know rice and your whole cargo could be jeopardized now so for example even the you know the local transit has been taken care of but your rice has now reached cfs the the customs warehouse right and it has been unloaded and uh, you know stored there 
there at the time of storing there is serious pest infestation that happened because the the space was not uh, properly maintained and fumigated at regular intervals and all the pest has in fact infested your crop because if the pest infestation happens at your cfs then by the time it reaches the customer it is it could probably seriously uh, you know uh, sort of damage your uh, products or you are load all the cargo into the containers the container was you know door was closed and sealed but there was a hole into the container and water has seepages happened right so a lot of things like this can go bad so quality control becomes very very important my friends right from the exact variety of rice that is being uh, shipped you know the quality parameters the you know shipment the the local transport the 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 shipping uh, and you know the the type of bags that you use the bags might be so weak that it could easily tear and you know uh, you know pest infestation might happen when you pick up an empty container for shipping that empty container might itself have a lot of pest inside it is the empty container fumigated or is the empty container checked thoroughly with a, before using for shipment a lot of things like this can actually change the quality of your rice uh, uh, you know quality also for example the dosage of fumigation your cargo going to singapore will go in 6 days your cargo to portland will go in 6 days your cargo to direct vessel to a pasir gudang shipment will go in say 7 to 8 days your cargo to africa is going to take you 20 to 30 days right so the fumigation dose for a 5 days transit versus a 30 days transit is different my friends the dosage is different the type of fumigation whether it is uh, you know alp tablets or whether it is a methyl bromide gas this also determines the fumigation uh, control inside the uh, you know containers so the 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 thing that the the, the you know parameters that could affect the uh, the reasons to be to, through because of which your cargo might get uh, seriously uh, you know uh, deteriorate or you know in transit or get affected is very very high my friends so it is better to understand this thoroughly before starting shipments or you can you know give it to your shipments to somebody very trustworthy like somebody like pwip or any trusted agency that who can take care of your shipments i hope your rice export journey is starting off well doing great uh, any doubts any uh, clarifications or any opportunities that you want to explore please write to us uh, you know uh, help us uh, share a uh, comment and uh, you know like this video that we are content that we are making i will see you soon in the next video thank you